Yo, 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 yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? Na, 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 na. Got another StarCraft Cassie Cast for you guys. And gonna be doing two ZVPs of Brain versus the Smurf. Who I think might be. Um, Myth Freja? Freya? Freya? Freja? Who is a. A hunter's player, not a big game hunter's player. So, Brain gonna scout the middle. I saw the first four minutes of this because I was multitasking ish and uh, sales was asking me to send out something. So, I had to get it to the client ASAP. Um, but in the first cast, I was saying that Brain sends this guy all the way across map. And I thought that he would put it, the overload right here, right here, but he actually just keeps sending it here. And I think it's smart to put it right here or here because then it helps your, it can help with scouting and, and knowing where your opponent is. But I think we'll see what brain, see what happens here. So I saw a little bit of this, so I know what happens. There's good micro. Five zealots right here. You got the triple gates in the middle. Brain talking some smack at the forge. She's making some cannons. Going to. Gonna go for the attack right here. Zerglings. Back and forth. I think he has about eight. Two more are gonna spawn. He's got ten drones right now. Gonna win this battle. Two cannons. Oh, he's gonna cancel that cannon. Gonna start attacking this cannon. Good micro, some more zerglings coming to join the fight. He's got two sunkins. Take out that zealot, gonna take out that zealot. So that's two zealots. He's gonna take out this zealot as well. Doing a nice job attacking these zealots with his zerglings. He's gonna take out that cannon as well, and he's gonna take out this cannon as well. He's got these guys back here just in case there's a run by. They're gonna start putting. So I guess he's okay. Now he's gonna start sending this guy out. Start putting some sunkins out here. Start attacking this, and this is basically where I left off. So he's got hatchery. We'll see if he goes right into a double gas right now. I think he will. He's got the overlord out here. And let's see what this Smurf player is going with. He's got two nexuses, two extra nexuses. Probably going to start building robotics in the middle. There's your first cannon coming down. And still no gas, so gas going to come at 445. So that's when Brain's going to get his gas. So for you players out there, maybe that's the secret time. The triple gas. So 445, go for the triple gas. And maybe that's key. Let's see if he puts... He's got, I mean, I'm, he's for sure going to put three drones on each, so... We'll see if he gets a Hydra done and the Lair. Another hatchery going to come down. Two more hatcheries. Here's your drones. Going to all three. He's going to put this guy out here. He's waiting for... He's going to get that Hydra done at 525. And then he's probably going to get that Lair right away. I could be wrong. There it is. And so he's just got the five Sunkins. Double robotics here. Overlord gonna get a little information. Gonna see the robotics, gonna see that upgrade. Not robotics, a cyber. Cannon right here, going right around the cannon. Did get hit probably twice, three times. And we'll see when he starts making this Hydra production. Brain Zerg is just so darn good, but we'll see. We got four robotics right here. Another forge in the middle. There's your citadel. So really just gonna build in the middle here. Another hatchery gonna come down. So there's your hydro. Let's see what the vision is of Brain. He's got the overlords over here. Overlord right here. This guy gonna go over here. 
And scouting this out, he's going to see that triple gateway in the middle. There's your second upgrade getting made. Double Reaver, so not even going to into a shuttle. And not sure if I said it, but if you guys like my channel, subscribe, get the video, give the video a like. Maybe give this one extra likes. I know you guys like seeing brain. Queen's Nest and Spire, same time, seven minutes in. <gasps> we got the hiccups. Um, so pumping out the the hydros. I'm sure he's got double, yeah, both upgrades, and he's just pumping out of those three gas right now. Reavers at the front. Is he just gonna keep sending one zergling out? We'll see. Oops. Ooh, he's gonna bring the hydras up. And he was attacking that sunken. So those. Ooh, that was a big hit right there. Gonna take out one reaver. Pull these guys back. Did he get? range yet it's still on the way and so we're gonna be pumping out of four robotics here we'll see if a stargate gets made dragoons are on the way on this guy's playing pretty pretty perfectly as a protoss player his macro micro pretty solid bunch of reavers getting that extra damage does an extra 25 upgrades for zerg go pretty quick here's your hive on the way do so you have time for a carapace upgrade? Doesn't look like it. And he put down two more gas. It looks like one, two, three. Three more gas. So he goes three and three. Study brain a little bit here. And we'll see if a bunch of gateways get made. Here's your Templar archives. So not going to see any drops for a little bit. Just going to continue to push with the Reavers. That upgrade It's done on the Scarabs. Reavers right here. Gonna take out the hydras pretty quickly. So gonna have to get some some mutas, which he does. Get some zerglings as well, I think. Rain is usually pretty good with getting his zerglings. This is a pretty quick push. Got the observers as well. That upgrade should be. Yeah, it is done. A couple more cannons back here just in case. Just see what this feels like. 158 supply. He's just going to go right on in for this attack right here. Got the Muta. is going to take out one Reaver, but this is a lot of Dragoons. Two Reavers. You can take this one out real quick, but is he going to get all three? I guess so. This is ten Mutas, so... Oh, a pretty nice Bulldoze right here. 66 drones, so a lot of drones for, for Brain. But he did lose his choke. And here's all your gateways in the middle. This guy's got a lot of gas, so. You can start making some Templars, maybe some Archons. Keep making those Reavers. Current 45 supply. Might have 101. He does have 101. 1 1 for Brain on the upgrades right there. We continue to make those Sunkins. Guardians getting made, so. Wow. And he's getting the upgrade on attack. Man, brain is something else gonna keep these guys at the choke still pumping out probes a little bit supply stuck Guardian's gonna start moving out right here And he's going to try to use this ledge to his advantage. So it's going to be tough to see these guys. Here comes your big time attack maxed out for the most part for the Spurk player. Got some Hydras over here. They're going to get smoked by the Reavers. Scorgy's just going to miss the Observer. But, oh, this went down quick. Guardians are... Destroying. And these Reavers are gone. And Brain gonna talk some smack, maybe. Gonna go right into more Guardians here. So we got eight. So we got these three. Start seeing if. We'll see if we see some drops now. 
And Brain's got using all of his gas. Look at that. Did he get Overlord speed? He does have Overlord speed. More gateways coming down in the middle. Some cannons right here gonna get rid of some probes, it looks like. Defiler mound. Lurkers get made. Gonna have that one upgrade on attack. Getting that carapace upgrade as well. I just got one one. Here comes your attack. One zero two. Taking out an overlord. Got a couple devourers up here. So we're gonna put down five more hatcheries, four more hatcheries. Storm, that's exactly what he needs to start storming right here. These guardians on the hill. Ooh, nice storms. That's really gonna take out a lot. Another good storm. Observer's coming in. Needs to get observer speed. Some lurkers here, some lurkers there. Got the queen. Upgrade's gonna finish up. He's gonna be at 2 2. I like to watch it change. There it is. See how quickly he does. Wow, that's quick. Look at those upgrades. To be getting attacked like this and then go right into your upgrades while he's microing. Take out the observers or try to. Nice storms coming down. 150 supply, 122, some units coming in, some hydras. And gonna re establish those sunkins. Taking out the observer. Yeah, we're gonna have to build some more gateways. Maybe another eight. We'll see if a drop comes from Brain. More guardians. Did lose one hatchery, but not the end of the world. We'll see if he makes this one of these into a spore. All sunkins right now. All sunkins. Yeah, there's your gateways. Look at all these gateways. It's another eight, ten, twenty-two. 25 gateways, just straight gas right there. Here's the lurkers. Probably put some over here, put some here, and put some over here. Burrow these guys up. Spread them out so they don't get that spread. Don't want them to be able to get stormed at the same time. I guess a storm right here would be good. Also, it's harder to see them. He's not seeing this one right now. There's the observers coming in. And we'll see if Brain tries to snipe out some of these observers here. Storms are coming down. 202 on the upgrades. Bauer is gonna take out the observers or push them back for the most part. It's kind of a good strategy, I like that. Guardians over here splitting these guys up. Brain going to survive this. Did lose another hatchery though. Let's see if he puts maybe three or four hatcheries back here. No Templar drops just yet. And he forgot to get Zealot speed. Interesting. There it is. Dragoon's coming down. Using all of his gateways. We'll see if maybe he builds a bunch of star ports or, or what. Some cannons going to come down. Needs to try to get a drop off though. Gonna be finishing up soon, I think. Got the queen up here. Observer. Nice little green stuff coming down from the queen. Smart play. I do think he needs to get some more hatcheries though. Hopefully this is not corrupt. Not really pumping. I think he's just microing.
Maybe it is corrupt? I don't think so. Another hatchery gonna come down. I guess it is corrupt. Sorry guys. We're gonna have to restart this. Let's see, I think it was about 16. Yeah. Pushing out a little bit. Because your lurker is going to try to reestablish this choke. Guardians might be 1-1. One, 2-1. One, one. Okay. I'd like to see some hatcheries over here get made. Nice storm. Nice micro. There's your green stuff. Another good storm. Brain just got extra range for his Overlord site. You guys want to check that on the mini map? You would have seen these get a little bit more vision. Templar is going. Just keep these guys back. He's going to micro and try to snipe these guys out. coming down. Guardians get made over here. No Zerglings really. I mean, this guy just keeps pressuring though. With, he's got all these buildings in the middle, so he's just able to quickly keep on sending. This is not looking too good for Brain. He needs to get a swarm or something up. I'd like to see a drop come from the Smirk player. Do you think this is mid free jump? By the APM. Smart play by this guy. If I was him, I would think I'd kind of have this game. Just gotta land a drop. Build a couple shuttles. There are some Reavers over here. Trying to get these guys a little bit closer. Archon get made. Archon right here gonna take out one Overlord, that's for sure. Or one took out two Guardians and a Hydra. What a B, seven kills on that guy. This guy just doing what he can. I think Archons have a little bit of splash damage as well too. More units coming in here. Got the micro these guys on down. Lurkers getting made back here. Gonna go after the Hydra this then. So that's gonna be huge. I don't see an observer here, so might lose all these dragoons. Micro these guys on up. Some mutas get made. Gonna start making guardians. Micro on these guys. There's your lurkers. Gonna put those guys right at the front. Burrow. And so we got four, eight, nine, ten. There's your hatchery on the side. Gonna start building some scourges over here. Gonna retry to build this choke. Let's see what the upgrades are. Two, two, zero, three, zero, three. Gonna put some dragoons on the side, but right now, being a little bit offensive. Nice storms coming down, but those lurkers are doing some work. And he needs to get the upgrade for storm uh, or energy for his Templars. And you get three storms out of here, guys. That's a huge, huge upgrade. Especially in a PVZ. I mean, it's especially as a Protoss player, that's one of the biggest things you should. One of the biggest things that you should do and know is to get that upgrade. I think they even start off with 62 and a half uh, energy when they spawn. There's your storm. Big 
takes out the observer, but nice storm right there. Rain's got the hatcheries going over here, gonna start making some spores. He's got some defilers now. His gas has been pretty low. Have to rebuild that. Where's that hydro stun? He built it. Okay, rebuilt it here. Gonna put those swarms down. Gonna plague. And plague is huge. Gonna take these guys all the way down 100. So they're only left with 80. And you see, the only player that I think really uses plague really nice, or well, one of them, is uh, Hydra does it really good. He uses plague a ton. And it's, I mean, this is a perfect opportunity right here. And players just neglect it. I see a Unibomb now. 21 minutes in, here's your swarm. Nice storms coming down. These upgrades are in favor of Brain, so they are helping. I'm gonna snipe out that Observer. Slowly getting into Brain's base again. He's just got all these gateways. Makes it easy to just mass. These Guardians are gonna spawn any second. I think a Plague gonna come down. There's one, two, double Plague. That's gonna take these guys down 100. I guess it takes him down to two, maybe. I guess it depends if they've been injured at all. And swarm, another plague. You see the swarm come down. That guy's gonna go down. Here's your devourers up here. Storms. Make these into eggs right here. That's just smart play. See if maybe a drop comes. He's got all these hatcheries over here. Lurkers getting made. Guardians over here trying to use this hill. Let's have some observers here. Storm's coming down. Zergling's coming out. Lurkers is gonna put swarm down. I'm sure. Ooh, that defiler is going to go down. There's a lot of just Templars. Guardians up here. And just sending some Guardians over here. Might be able to take out some of that. That's some big brain action. Might be able to just take out these cannons right here. Got some Devourers coming on over. Lurkers. And he's got these guys to defend. Taking this out. Brain gonna talk some smack. Wow. So Brain gonna win that ZVP. Like an absolute beast. I mean, that was, that was a really, really close game. All right, we'll go into the second ZVP. And Brain played this guy PVZ and just smoked him in six minutes, so not really worth doing. Going to be top right. And going to be a late mid build. Very, very late. We're gonna see a choke from Brain. This might be just a two gate. And that's it. Into a Nexus, possibly. Nope, three gate. And. I like the pylon spot right here. Makes it hard to get zerglings through here, I think. 
There's your forge. See the micro. Getting some good shots off on that. Ooh, nice job. He's getting some good shots off on that probe, though. You're gonna try to kill the probe real quick. Zerglings are out. He's got six of them. This is tough to stop. Trying to surround this guy, which he does. Gonna take out that probe real quick, Sunken. Nice job, micro these guys up. Sunken. When I go down, but this one's almost done. It's gonna be done, so it takes that guy out. And this guy should yeah, keep some of his Zods. Here's your Nexus coming down. Get them together. So actually, you should put them all right here for now. So I do like this pylon up here though. It's a nice little wall. You can actually put this guy on hold right here. And no Zerglings are gonna get in your base. That's what he's got going on right here. Cyber. And there's your first gas. Looks like he's gonna put down another Nexus. Zerglings are out. Brain scout and he sees this right here. What is Brain gonna go into? Is it worth it? I don't know. We'll see if he sends one of his overlords. Does he have another overlord? He's got this one. Once he gets another overlord, we'll see if he sends it. To see what he's up against, because your wall. You just start using these drones right here. Yeah, this guy's gonna scout. And robotics gonna come down. Continue to pump out the zots. Another hatchery. I think this time you can only go into double double gas, not triple gas like last time where he had a good amount of time. Gonna hide this overlord over here. There's your robotics. Probably Citadel is gonna be next. Well, maybe double robotics. Here's a little attack, but yeah, way too many sunkins. Another robotics right there. Stargate. I think I might have gone for the Stargate first. Two more hatcheries. Maybe he is going to go into triple triple gas again. Overlord. Need your goons getting made. Not yet. Another robotics. So I mean, three robotics. There's your shuttle. Support bay on the way. We're going to talk some smack. There's He is going to go into triple gas. A fourth gas. Wow. Putting all these guys on. Might go right into. We'll see if he goes into a lair first. He might just go into super fast mutas. Or a ton of mutas. Here's your hydros done. Lair. Not yet. There it is. Start dropping inside of Brain's base. Six minutes in. He's got the Zerglings to kind of help out. Good amount of Zerglings. Take out the one Zot. This guy's low HP. This guy. Should have been attacking this guy. Gonna micro this guy back. Here's your Corsair. Sunkins. Might lose a couple drones here. A little micro. Getting close to being finished. Where's the Hydras at? There's your sunken. There goes a drone. There's another drone. Another drone. Hydras are out. Hydras, more zealots getting spawned or dropped in. The layer should be almost done. Another drone. Down to 33 drones. Four more zealots coming in here. 
really doing some damage with this. We will take care of this. Takes this guy out. The hatchery might come down. Yep, losing. Losing a little bit to these Corsairs. A little bit of a supply. So we can't make any more Hydras right now. And that Reaver drop probably going to be coming pretty soon. He's got the Reavers up here. Spire Queen's Nest first. More drones getting made. Bunch more robotics. This is how you kind of see um, Jose plays like this. It's kind of tough to beat. So here's your Spire. We'll see if it goes into that Queen's Nest right after he gets that fin final upgrade. Here's some Corsairs coming in here. Just a huge Reaver drop. Double Spire. Overlords have speed now. A couple observers as well. 122 supply. Chambers. Hive on the way. Pumping out the hydras, but he's going to need some mutas against this, and maybe that's what he's going to be saving up for. Here's your reaver drop. Coming very, very soon here. All the Corsairs and even another robotics unnecessary, I feel like, but should be making some gateways, I think. Is he gonna get some scourges maybe? I think bringing that drop down here and then up would have been, might be the best option. Not sure where it went though. Does he have mutas on the way? No mutas, just a couple hydras, lurker upgrade. Drop coming in the corner. This is not going to be good. Here it comes. Disruption web. How do you beat that? I guess he's going to have to get those mutas. He's got a bunch of Corsairs in here. Going to get that greater spire as soon as possible. Here comes your attack. Disruption web. There goes one Reaper. Two Reapers. Here comes the Mutas. Hold these guys back a little bit. Corsairs. Taking out everything. And gonna talk some smack to Brain. But he did. Not dead yet. He's got 3k and 2k, so as long as he doesn't lose the main. I'm just doing what they can. You guys are gonna spawn. There goes the main. Drones are gonna go down. This is such a tough build to beat. Cannon's coming down, just getting some more Stargates. Another drop coming through. Rebuild the pool. Just all Corsairs and Reavers. 
It's a good, good combination. Filer mound, he's gonna have to get a lair. Still has 2k and 3k, so just a drop. Just sending these overlords out. Here's your big drop right here. Mutas. Gonna get smoked. He got upgrade on an attack of his mutas as well. Server in here. Zerg is beatable. There's the GG McGee. So, fortunate he was right next to him. Uh, helps with your mid build as well as just being able to drop all those reavers right there. So, um, brain went 2 1 on this guy. So, good games. Give it a like, subscribe, and I'll take you guys there. PSC.